American Birth Control League, which along with other groups eventually became known as Planned Parenthood. And lastly, the eugenic uh, theme featured prominently her birth control review. This is a magazine she started and she led with articles such as Some Moral Aspects of Eugenics, June 1920, the Eugenic Conscience, February 1921, The Purpose of Eugenics, December 1924, Birth Control and Positive Eugenics, July 1925, Birth Control, The True, True Eugenics, August 1928, and there were many others. Folks, that's reality. These are plain, unvarnished facts. And these are things that we need to know, we need to share with our neighbors, we need to rally around, we need to press on our congressmen, our senators. There's an opportunity here. There's an opportunity here. As Tom said, there's over 300 of these rallies going on around this country. We need to leave here today not thinking that we've done our good deed. We showed up, pat ourselves in the back, and go back to our golf games or our video games or whatever television shows we're into. But we need to take the urgency, the momentum that's developing right here in the spirit, and we need to nurture that. We need to pray it through. We need to share it with others, and we need to put real pressure in this upcoming presidential election and our congressmen and senators to see real change happen in this country. This organization has been exposed for what it is, they traffic in baby parts. And you know, one of the most powerful memories I have in my life, I don't have a very good memory, I have a hard time, my wife can tell you, remembering that much about my past. But just as I was getting involved in the life work, a friend of mine, Christiane Collins in Washington, D.C., said, Eric, I want you to bring me to this uh, Northland Clinic in downtown Washington, D.C. We're going to go through the dumpsters tonight. scared spillers. We opened up those bags and I found dozens and dozens of little baby oh. hands and recognizable baby parts. Now why is it that we're suddenly up in arms because we're finding out that baby parts are being sold? This has been going on since 1973. Babies are being cut up, flushed mm -hmm. down, garbage disposals, mm -hmm. sold what for medical know? research. So I'm glad that these exposés have come out, but all this is doing is telling in a more powerful way, perhaps psychologically, a reality that's been going on since 1973. So we need to preach this loud, we need to preach this hard, we need to put pressure on our congressmen, we need to continue this momentum, and we need to pray. And if I can, that's it. I'll take a moment. Coming to the Lord. Father, after World War II, and Eisenhower went in, and we saw Pat went in, and we saw what these death camps were and what had gone on. We rounded up the civilian populations and made them walk through these death camps and showed them what went on in their own backyards. But we look back at that now.